Grace and peace. This is your host, Pastor Clarence Langston, reminding you, yes, my friend, you, that today is the day that the Lord has made. Come, let us rejoice together and be glad in it. I am so excited. God has blessed us. Yes, he has blessed us to be a blessing. You know, in the book of Genesis uh, 12, 1, when God came into covenant with Abram, he told him that he was going to make him a blessing. And uh, we know that Abraham is our uh, uh, father, if you will, of the faith. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And we know that uh, all the way down through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, uh, God has set up a generational blessing for us. And uh, uh, because we're blessed, uh, we're in a position to be able to bless others. God said he made us the head and not the tail. Look, today's broadcast, we're going to uh, go into a segment where you saw uh, myself along with co-pastor Robin Langston and the Word in Action Christian Center Church uh, go out on in one of the local uh, neighborhoods of our community at a gas station and give away free gas. Yes, we just wanted to bless the people of our city. We wanted to sow back and we wanted God to get the glory uh, because we know that uh, we have been going through, uh, in the natural sense, an economic, if you will, uh, stressful time. But we know as kingdom believers, uh, we don't participate in the world's activity because we're too busy uh, participating in the kingdom authority and the kingdom power. And so God called us to be a blessing and we're going to take you into that segment and we were just so humble that God thought enough of us to use us to be a blessing to others. We were passing out water and we were squeegeeing uh, car windows and just smiling at the people because sometimes people lose hope, people lose faith. And uh, that's what we wanted to do. We just wanted to be an encouragement and so back to the city. So uh, call a neighbor, tell a friend. They're going to want to witness this. You know, we put this uh, on uh, television because we felt that it was necessary because people are always talking about that uh, uh you know what the church do doesn't do or what the church is taking from everybody but people don't realize that uh the church is god's uh, institution in the earth to be a blessing to you let us get ready to go into that today it's gonna bless you hold on my friend here we go be blessed Katrina, I thought that, you know, giving back to the city uh, during these economic times, so many things are going on, so many hard times, people are having uh, uh, problems in their day-to-day, uh, 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 -day, uh, just living and, and paying their bills and getting gas and taking care of their children. And, you know, the Bible talks about, you know, giving back and being a blessing. Uh, Genesis 8.22 says, as long as the earth remains, there will always be seed time and harvest. And I just believe that it's harvest time for the metropolitan area. You know, we reclaim the city of Detroit as a miracle city where God is doing great things. He's restoring the hope of the people. People have seemed to be so hopeless, but I just believe that events like these are causing the people to be encouraged, to be excited. So much excitement going on down here. I'm excited to be next to you uh, with the name like Katrina. It's like a storm. Uh -huh. I'm just excited about it. You know, glory be to God. Thanks so much for giving back to the community. We appreciate it. It's a West 7 Mile and Myers. Back to you guys. Yes, 
was on total zero so thank you guys for what you're doing today it's a blessing you know God works in mysterious ways and this is this is how it happens because I really didn't know how I was gonna get any gas today so thank you thank you very much all right. I just started a brand new job and I was uh, coming all the way from Ann Arbor and I wasn't gonna get paid till Friday so I'm like I don't know how I'm gonna get gas I had 30 miles on my gas tank now I got 250 gas Oh, so I just want to thank you, Pastor. It's a wonderful thing y'all doing in the community. Yeah, my love, my blessings. Thank you a lot. I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited. We're down here at the gas giveaway. I'm down here with my friend. I just love this man. I thank God for him. And uh, you know, he's a great man of God. You all know who he is, Mr. Greg Davis. Of good news, he comes on daily. He comes on weekly. Matter of fact, let's be honest, we see his face everywhere. God is using him to do great things. And he has graced us today. He's come down to the gas giveaway, and he's just here with us. I tell you, we're having an exciting time. Bishop, how you feeling, sir? That means I'm speechless. <laughs> I mean, I'm speechless. Wow. I am. This is literally, if you live in Detroit, cars are literally going from seven mile to six mile, nearly a mile down. Yes. I have to come to the middle of the street to get in here. They're all, I mean, it is incredible. Detroit's finest is here, helping to keep everything in order. And when I tell you, word in action is organized, it ain't Praise you, God. it's the pretty lady over there standing. <laughs> I will accept that and receive that. She, well, Bishop, you know they say behind every great man is a great woman. She, <laughs> it is so organized. I asked everybody, did y'all go to work today? They said, we are at work. Wow, we praise God. Uh, I mean, this is yes, incredible. Sir. You know, Bishop, it's amazing. We're watching people. They're cleaning windows. They're passing out water. They're giving away CDs. They're loving on the people. There's so much energy here, so much fire. I mean, you've been in ministry for many, many years. You've seen a lot of things. Um, I'm just excited about it. You can hear the music. The music is pumping. It, it, it's crazy. We just got them to turn it down. But that's what kind of energy is here. You it's know, exciting. and I love. Exciting. I mean, it's, it's, it's like almost like not ministry as usual. We're okay, we're, we do it to make a statement, but we're doing it for, out of the love of God, and you can see the love here, Bishop. People want to know where's the church? Word in action. <laughs> the word is in action right here, giving away thousand dollars worth of gas. People are going away with a smile. Yes. When you give to people, it changes their whole attitude. Yes, sir. Yes. This is actually about 97 degrees today. And we're out here. It is. It's awesome. It is. And I tell you, Hats. We, listen. Hats. <laughs> Hats well, we just, well, we, you know, Bishop, you know, we, we, we just praise God that he gave us, you know, that vision that he gave us, that kind of love. And that people now, you know, so many people hear us on 102.7. They see us on Impact Network. They, uh, a lot of people watch us live streaming. A lot of times we're with good news, with you doing great things. But now they get a chance to see how Word in Action operates outside of the four walls. You've you been know? talking about it. You know, Napoleon Hill said there's nothing better than an idea whose time has come. Wow. This was an idea wow. of yours. Months ago, we talked about yes. it in the winter. Yes. It's come. Wow, it's here. Now, you know, I'm going to interview you. I know this show. All right, all right. How does this make you feel? My goodness, it, Bishop, honestly, you know, it humbles me, you know, to see the kind of unity that we have, you know, in the local assembly, to see the people loving the children. Now, listen to this, Bishop. While the adults are passing out water, 
so people will have water because it's so hot, cold water. The children are passing out popsicles to the children that's in the car. You want to change the generation? That's how you change the generation? Yes. By them seeing the, next, the, the the generation ahead doing something, so then this will never die. Wow. Because the, your children's children, they'll be doing this. Because yes. they'll remember old man Langston. <laughs> Listen, it's exciting. Me and Bishop Greg, we've been pumping gas. We got to get back to the gas pump because we're about to be, he's about to be Bishop over the gas and I'm be pastor over the gas. And we're excited about it because the truth is at the beginning of the day, we are humble servants and sons of God. And at the end of the day, we are humble servants and sons of God. And we're thankful, grateful. Bishop, thank you so much. Incredible. God bless you, my friend. Bless you.